multiphase CFD insight video series. In this video, we are going to see how we can model solid suspension in a stirred tank. Solid suspension is one of the key unit operations in process and pharmaceutical industries. In many such processes, solid could either be a product or a reactant or a catalyst and it is very critical to get a desired solid distribution. Our objective for this CFD simulation study is to see the impact of turbulent dispersion force and validation of cloud height with the experimental observations. For the present study we will be using the Euler granular model. Here is the problem description for the present study. There are two different reactors with torispherical tank bottom, one with single impeller and the other with dual. Impellers are four blade pitch blade turbine mounted on top mounted shaft. Each of these reactors was operated at 10% and 15% by weight of solid loading and agitation rate ranges from 150 to 450 rpm. Let us now briefly go through the theoretical aspect of the turbulent dispersion force which is one of the focus parameters considered for this study. The drag on a particle is modeled using the interface exchange term. This term in a turbulent fluid should be based on the instantaneous slip velocity and not on the mean slip velocity as is traditionally done. Simonin has proposed a model based on gradient eddy diffusion hypothesis that adds a correction term to the mean slip velocity term. This correction term requires a drift velocity as given by the second expression which is a function of local volume fraction and its gradient for both primary and the secondary phases. Now the question is where can I enable turbulent dispersion force? Let us see. We are now in ANSYS fluent and you can see this is a single impeller case. All the interface exchange terms can be accessed through this single panel. The drag model we have chosen is Gidaspo and the turbulent dispersion force as Simonin. Now to see the influence of turbulent dispersion force, we ran this case with and without Simonin TDF till a steady state solution is reached. These runs are now complete, so let's compare the results between them. We are now in CFD post and opening those results in the same session. To visualize the cloud of suspended solids, we are using volume rendering which is essentially a 3D contour plot. The display variable we have chosen is the secondary phase volume fraction. So now we can clearly see the cloud of suspended solids. It is interesting to observe that the Simonin TDF plays a significant role in predicting solid distribution. But then the question is which one of them is correct? Well we do have experimentally observed cloud height data which can be compared with our predictions. Let us see which one of them compares well. To measure the cloud height in CFD, we have created an isosurface of volume average secondary phase volume fraction. The measured cloud height is the maximum value of Z coordinate for these isosurfaces. Note that the Z axis is along the shaft. So as we can see, for the single impeller reactor, inclusion of Simonin TDF compares well with the observed experimental data. How about the dual impeller configuration? Here as well, we get a good match for the case with Simonin TDF. This simulation strategy was applied to a wide range of operating conditions with Gidaspo drag and Simonin TDF. The CFT predicted cloud height matched reasonably well with the experimentally observed data, as can be seen from these images. More importantly, across the range of speed above and below just suspension speed and of course with single and dual impeller configuration using 10% and 15% solid loading. To summarize this study, turbulent dispersion force is an important modeling parameter for predicting solid distribution and cloud height is in good agreement between CFD and experiments. This work is published in an open access journal and the complete paper can be downloaded from the following link. Thank you. Stay tuned for further videos in this series.